Hi, uh, today I will cover uh, DAO design pattern implementation, uh, how to write uh, DAO class uh, and I will show you the sample code etc. Uh, before you watch this video, please log into my channel and watch uh, DAO design pattern introduction and DAO design pattern class diagram and sequence diagram video tutorial. Uh, then come and watch uh, this uh, tutorial uh, so that you will understand uh, this tutorial very easily. To explain uh, DO design pattern implementation, I have uh, taken uh, employee concept. So uh, in database, uh, say one employee table is there. It has uh, three columns. Uh, first one is employee ID. Uh, second one is uh, name, and the next one is age. Okay. And uh, corresponding to this one, uh, we have to define employee business object or transfer object. So whatever you are seeing here, this is the class diagram of uh, uh, employee DO implementations. Okay. So corresponding to this uh, employee table, we have to define the uh, transfer object. So here uh, we have defined transfer object as employee. So corresponding to each column, uh, employee ID, name and age, we have to define variable in the employee tra transfer object. So you can see employee ID, name and age and the getter and setter method for those uh, variables and uh, this should be this all variable should be private okay and this getter and setter method should be public and uh, next class is uh, employee do impl uh, this employee do impl implements employee do interface so you can see employee do it has uh, five methods so basically uh, it contains uh, uh, method to create employee in the employee table, uh, update employee in the employee table, and uh, get employee from the employee table, delete employee record from the employee table, and uh, get all the employees from the employee table. So it has uh, five methods. Basically, it will do the CRUD operation, create, retrieve, update, and delete operations. So you have uh, get all employee method, uh, which will return list of employee which is the transfer object or business object and add employee you have to pass the employee object so which will uh, create new record in the employee table and uh, get employee if you pass the employee id it will get the corresponding uh, employee object from the employee table and it will return update employee if you have to pass the employee object based on the uh, uh, content of the employee object it will update the particular uh, row in the employee table so last method is uh, delete employee if you pass uh, employee id that employee record will be deleted from the employee table so this uh, do uh, so the this do interface uh, methods will be implemented by the employee do impl so this interface will contain only abstract uh, methods so you can see uh, employee do impl which implements each and every method of uh, do class so the original implementation will be there in the employee do impl this is the concrete class and this employee do impl will uh, use the data source so what is the use of this data source is uh, it provide uh, connection to the relational database so it has uh, create connection method so when you call this method uh, it will uh, create the connection uh, and it will return the connection object uh, so using the connection object uh, we can uh, talk to the relational databases like uh, oracle or uh, mysql so this employee do impl methods will use the data source to get the connection object so once you get the connection object uh, we can open the connection and uh, uh, we have to get the statement and when you execute using the statement uh, you can uh, execute the queries uh, all those things you can do and uh, employee do pattern demo this act as a client it has main method and uh, it will call employee do impl methods okay so this is the class diagram of uh, uh, do design pattern uh, we will see uh, the code so i will open eclipse and i will show you okay uh, so this is the project uh, structure uh, you can see uh, this is a bin folder all class file will be there and uh, the folder uh, you have to you have to put uh, common dpcp 
1.4 dot jar and common spool 1.6 dot jar and uh, mysql connector so i have uh, used mysql database for uh, uh, the example okay so this three jars you have to put it in the lib and uh, set it in the class path script folder uh, i put uh, the sql uh, which i used for this project so so this contains uh, uh, create the database uh, ramj2e in that uh, employee table I created okay I will show you uh, the MySQL so you can see a uh, employee table here and the ROM J2E database and uh, there are three columns employee ID into 32 name where character 32 this employee ID is the primary key uh, and age into 32 okay so I just uh, execute that query you can see no record in the database uh, table and uh, next is the source folder so we will see what and all classes which are there in the source folder mm, so i just hope i will just open uh, class diagram so you can see employee okay so corresponding to that you can see employee.java here okay so like i explained it contains uh, uh, variables employee ID name and age which is corresponding to the employee table and it has uh, sector and getter methods and uh, next class is employee uh, DO impl okay. so we have employee DO impl which implements employee DO interface so that is there in the class diagram you can see it in the top so I will I will open employee DO interface so you can see uh, methods uh, to perform the CRUD operation create update uh, delete and uh, get all the employees etc and this uh, DO impl has implementation of uh, each method which is there in the DO class so get all employees so I have provided the implementation so uh, like i explained uh, uh, in the class diagram this uh, employee do impl the each method will use the data source you can see in the class diagram data source in the right side so what is the use of data sources it will uh, provide the connection using the connection you can uh, talk to the uh, database so i'll open the data source to java so it has uh, create connection method and uh, it will provide the connection object using the connection object you can talk to the database and uh, next uh, last one is uh, demo this uh, employee do pattern demo which acts as a client and uh, this will call employee do impl methods okay and now we will see employee do impl so here get all employees method is there so i will just explain what uh, we are doing here uh, so using the data source uh, we are getting the connection so once you get the connection um, here what we are doing is we are creating the statement so once you get the statement uh, you have to execute the query the query is uh, select star from employee we want to get all the employees from the employee table so once you execute the query it will return the result set uh, result set uh, is nothing but uh, it will contain row from the uh, database table so when you select a star from employee whatever uh, whatever uh, records are there in the employee table that will be there in the result set then what we are doing is we are just iterating the result set and we are uh, formulating the employee object and we are adding to the list so if uh, there are uh, two employees are there then two employee will be added to the this employee list and the list will be written to the caller so you can see here we are returning the list okay and uh, finally block uh, we are closing the connection object statement uh, result set etc it's like normal jdbc program so like that add employee method uh, so we have to pass the employee object which uh, we want to store in the database table and here what we are doing is uh, whatever employee object we are passing uh, we are getting values from uh, that employee object 
and uh, we are formulating the insert query and we are getting the statement and we are executing the statement once you execute the statement uh, this record will be employee record will be inserted in the employee table so like that uh, get employee so here you have to pass the employee id uh, same way like uh, we are getting the connection object so once you get the connection object get the statement object then uh, here we want to get the one employee so we have put uh, where condition where employee id equal to employee id so it will return the result set so employee id is the primary key so it will uh, this result set will contain only one record so we are just iterating the result set and formulating the employee object and returning back so that is a get employee method and uh, update employee uh, so we have to uh, pass the employee object so whatever is there in the employee object we are getting here in the update uh, query uh, we are setting the name as name whatever is coming in the employee object where employee id equal to whatever is there in the employee object so same way we have to get the connection object get the prepared statement or statement and uh, execute the query it will update the record in the employee table and uh, last method is uh, uh, delete employee and you have to pass the employee id so here uh, what we are doing is uh, delete from employee where employee id equal to whatever uh, they are passing um, so based on that uh, this sql uh, the record will be deleted from the employee table here same like uh, we have to get the connection from the data source and uh, uh, get the uh, statement and once you get the statement uh, we have to execute the uh, sql so this uh, this is how this employee do ample works so basically this contains the uh, method to perform uh, credit operation okay and uh, now we will see employee do pattern demo dot java so this act is a client uh, so this is how uh, you can add employee so here what we are doing is we are formulating the employee object and uh, calling the employee uh, do employee do impl uh, method add employee add employee is the uh, employee do impl uh, method okay so we are adding the employee and uh, next uh, here what we are doing is uh, we are uh, getting all the employees from the employee table and uh, just printing those values and uh, this one uh, based on the employee ID, we are getting that uh, employee object and just printing that. And uh, here uh, we are doing update employee. We are pop populating uh, employee object and uh, updating the record in the employee table. And uh, the final one is uh, delete employee based on the employee ID. I will just run the demo and I will show you the output. So here uh, the record is uh, inserted into the employee table for employee. So two employee records are inserted. Then uh, we are just printing all the employee information. And uh, we are getting one employee information based on the ID. This is the output. And uh, we are updating the employee. The final one is we are uh, deleting uh, employee from the employee table. Okay. And... Uh, so this is the example of uh, uh, employee DAO implementation and how to use uh, uh, DAO design pattern. Okay, and uh, and all this uh, example, uh, this Java classes, I have uh, put it in my uh, blog, which is called ramj2e.blogspot.in. So you can log into my um, uh, black spot and uh, you can get this uh, sample code okay and uh, and uh, this is about uh, do design pattern implementation uh, and uh, thanks for watching bye